We are live at the CompuBox Academy. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990 when he fights out of Harlem, New York. Josh the Tartan Tornado Taylor, one of the most aggressive in-your-face fighters in the world today. Watch out for this hard-hitting southpaw who fights out of Scotland. This is going to be an intense stale before the fight starts. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. Fighting. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. We see the crowd, the people, the fans. We just cannot wait for this fight to get on. So a capacity crowd here for this one. Let's We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. <laughs> when are we going to see a jab from these two? Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. It's all off. Got knocked down, but didn't stay down. Once again, showing you how much grit and courage this fighter has. Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. They want to get back into the mix again. I want to know, what sort of character are we looking at here? It's a good start to the round for this guy. Just missed with that hook. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? It's a perfect start. Beautiful counter punch. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Can you imagine walking into this tub, walking into a arena with such nice people chanting your name? You can't even hear your corner man whispering in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. So final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. Talk about Robinson in that last round. Well, this fighter has been down twice. They've got to up their game here, or this fight is going to be over. Unbelievable heart knocked down twice. They ring the bell, and here we go. Last round was a disaster. What can they do here to turn this around? Two knockdowns in that last round. There'll be sheer panic in that corner. What do they do? Do they throw the towel in? Do they let him come back out again? Because they know their fighter is like a lamb to the slaughter. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick 
to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got a dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. They miss with the jab. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. That counter punch caught him clean. And he just misses with that jab. Jab does not score. Beautiful counter punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Robinson in that last round. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. And there's the bell to start the round. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. Counter punchers, my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Good counter punch. You'd like to see more jabs. A lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Pretty close fight here in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Unlike the heavier fighters, these fighters throw so many punches, it's hard to keep up. Both men step back for just a moment. Neither fighter willing to slow down. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about Robinson in that last round. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. Unfortunately, we're hoping for an all-action slugfest. 
Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold and tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Catch and shoot. Why weren't they more... Back on their feet, but let's see how much they have left in the tank. Good, look at his corner, look for the instructions. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. Halfway through the round, and I think we all know who's winning here. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a T, play the plan out to a T. If they can pick up momentum, and do this over and over and over again. They've got it. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Get your mind on the job. Forget the crowd. Punch scored. Set of the year, perhaps right before our eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. Clearly, his opponent was too much for him, and he's thrown in the tap. do it they want no more they don't like that listen to them oh listen to that when he gets back to the gym his team is gonna give him hellfire this is what you work on as a fighter 